Please rise if you are able 
for the academic procession. In the toil of thinking, in the serenity of books, in the messages of prophets, the songs of poets, and the wisdom of interpreters, in discoveries of continents of truth whose margin we may see, we delight in free minds and in their thinking. In the majesty of the moral order, in the face that right will triumph, in the courage given us when we ally ourselves to truth in any form, in the privilege of being co-workers in good causes, we, we celebrate the unseen goals we share and serve. Let us build a world safe from war and oppression, free and satisfying, one that ultimately furnishes answers for us all. Please be seated.
graduates, friends, and family, good afternoon and welcome. I am Kira Scarabaghi, Dean of the Faculty of Community Services. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the land that we're celebrating on today. Toronto is in the dish with one spoon territory. The dish with one spoon is a treaty between the Anishinaabe, the Mississaugas, the Haudenosaunee that bound them to share the territory and protect the land. Subsequent indigenous nations and peoples, Europeans and all newcomers have been invited into this treaty in the spirit of peace, friendship, and respect. Class of 2023, it is so wonderful to be here celebrating your academic achievements. Along with many others, I am joined on stage today by Tom Duver, Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Architectural Science, Gary Hepburn, Dean of the Chang School of Continuing Education, and Corey Searcy, Dean and Vice Provost of the Yates School of Graduate Studies. On behalf of us all, I extend congratulations to each of you for the academic achievements we are celebrating today. Go ahead. <laughs> Applause is free, so you know, feel free anytime. I want to welcome all of you, the graduates, the families and the friends, the colleagues and distinguished guests to this wonderful moment. A moment that captures enormous achievement and that sets the stage for exciting futures. Today, we have all come together to celebrate this moment. In so doing, we acknowledge the hard work that went into getting here. We acknowledge and give thanks to those who supported our graduates, families, old friends and new friends, teachers and mentors. We also acknowledge that many of our graduates today came back to their studies after many years of professional practice in other endeavors. We salute your spirit and determination. And we celebrate the new connections and relationships formed during your time with us, right here at Toronto Metropolitan University. This moment is about joy, excitement, laughter, perhaps a little relief too. We don't always know what comes next, but I'm confident that with the degree you earned, the connections you have made and the confidence you have gained, you'll be ready to go out into the world and contribute to making it better for everyone. Congratulations, everyone. I am proud to share this moment with you. <clears throat> to begin this very special day, I introduce to you the university's president and vice chancellor, Mohammed Lashmi. Thank you, Dean. Good afternoon. Welcome to our graduates, family and friends, colleagues from across the university and beyond. Before we begin the celebration, I want to pause for a moment. As you know, there is a lot of upheaval, conflict, and violence occurring around the world. And I know it can have serious impact on people of our TMU community. And it may be having an impact on many people who are here with us this afternoon. I would ask that for the next hour or two, we focus on the people in this room, that we use our time and energy to acknowledge what they have accomplished, how they have succeeded, and the positives the future may bring. This is a day to celebrate all of you. As you each across the stage, I'm hopeful we can all respect one another and respect the importance of why we are here, why we are gathering today. To the class of 2023, this is an important day for you, and you have our warmest congratulations. 
you are all graduating at a milestone moment in history. Despite the challenges brought on by the pandemic, you remained committed to your studies, kept connected to your classes, and served your community in more ways that you can mention here. A milestone also because your academic journey will be forever linked to our historic name change. What has not changed from the moment you choose to study here to the moment you cross the stage to accept your award are our values. And when you return as an alumni, you will feel right at home. Change is a continuing theme at our university, and in 2023, it holds special meaning. We are celebrating a remarkable triple anniversary this year, 75 years as an institution, 30 years as a university, and one year with our new name, Toronto Metropolitan University. Each of these on its own is a significant milestone. Together, they represent an evolution that is almost unheard of in the academic world. Reflecting on these milestones, I can safely say that the reason for our success is in this room, the talented people that we have in this room. As we move forward together, I encourage you to embrace the same steadfast drive and determination that defined us at TMU. Both you and the university look ahead to a new chapter and I'm sure bright future. Future of promise and optimism, better prepared than ever to meet the challenges and opportunities ahead. To our graduates, this is your time. You have what the world is looking for, talent, energy, and new ideas. Your years here have prepared you for this moment. We are so very glad that you choose this university, that you immerse yourself in our community. I hope you are feeling grateful for each other. You have shared a university experience that forges lasting friendships. Which brings us full circle. While we may find success as individuals, as a society, we depend on each other. We need loved ones. The proof you have many of them attending the ceremony with you. You need colleagues and community. In French, you know we never say goodbye. Instead, we say au revoir, which literally means until we see you again. Enjoy your very, very special day and stay close to your alma mater. For together, we will shape the future. Thank you, and I invite you now to please enjoy a short video. Thank you. As Canada's most urban university, we represent all that it is to be metropolitan. This word has defined our identity for 75 years as we've brought some of the brightest and most creative minds together in downtown Toronto. From day one, our mission has been unique to serve societal needs and prepare students for impactful careers. First as an institute of technology, and then as a rapidly growing university. Through it all, we've been shaped by metropolitan life. From the density of our landscape, to the creativity that pulses through our city, to the diversity of our community. And now, we proudly embrace it as our name. We've grown along the way, but that's only fueled our aspirations 
to improve lives on our campus, in our city, across the country, and around the world. Join us in celebrating 75 years as an institution, 30 years as a university, and one proud year with our new name. We are Toronto Metropolitan University, and we are honored to have you as our graduating class. President Lashmi, Provost Ian Chito Provenciano, deans, esteemed colleagues, and representatives who join us on stage, members of the graduating class, family members and friends, honored guests. It is my great privilege to deliver the citation for Isildin Abolaesh, upon whom Toronto Metropolitan University is conferring the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa, our highest award. When Dr. Abulayesh was nominated for an honorary degree here many months ago, no one could have foreseen the unimaginable events of the past few days that have stunned and shocked the world. But on this day, never has his message of hope, compassion, and peace been more important or more resonant. Despite overcoming many personal hardships, he continues to live up to the description bestowed on him by an Israeli colleague, the magical secret bridge between Israelis and Palestinians. Born and raised in the Jabalaya refugee camp in Gaza, Dr. Abulaish is a Palestinian medical doctor. Educated in Egypt, England, and with a master's degree in public health from Harvard University, Dr. Abulaish is the first Palestinian doctor to receive an appointment in medicine at an Israeli hospital. The name, <laughs> the name Isildin Abulaish first came to international attention because of a profound personal tragedy. Three of his daughters and his niece were killed when their apartment was struck by an Israeli shell in the Gaza war of 2008 to 2009. Despite his immense loss, he has adopted the doctrine that hate is not a response to war. He advocates for open communication and understanding as the tool to bridge the divide between Israelis and Palestinian interests. His impact has been exceptional. President Barack Obama has referred to him as an example of strength and reconciliation. He has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize multiple times, and support for his candidacy has grown dramatically every year. His autobiographical book, I Shall Not Hate, A Gaza Doctor's Journey, achieved critical acclaim and bestseller status. The book is a testament to his commitment to forgiveness as the solution to conflict and the catalyst toward peace. Isoldin Abolesh, for your commitment to health promotion as a means to positive change, for your work in fostering peace in the Middle East and around the world, and for your remarkable forgiveness, we celebrate and honor you today. I would now like to call President Lashmi, Provost Iana Chito Provenciano, and Dr. Isoldin Abolesh to the podium for the conferring of the degree. Toronto Metropolitan University, by virtue of the authority granted by the province of Ontario under the, Ontario, under the Toronto Metropolitan University Act, has awarded the degree Doctor of Laws 
honoris causa with all the rights and privilege attended thereon to his Dean abolition. Congratulations. President and Vice-Chancellor Mohammed Lashimi, honored guests, faculty and the staff, ladies and gentlemen, proud families and guests, and most important, members of the graduating class of 2023. It's my great pleasure to have this honor and have the opportunity to speak to you. I am so moved, thrilled, and in pain to be here, but I would like to dedicate this honor to the loved ones who are not with me today. My parents, my wife, my daughters, and those who are suffering silently and dying in silence in our world because of pain and silence and injustice and oppression. Let me start by congratulating you and your families as you begin your professional life. It's a promising gathering with a strong belief in the presence of hope. Do I wish to be in your place? Yes, it reminds me of the first day at the medical school in Cairo. I wanted to succeed, to go back home where my parents, the refugee parents and my people are waiting for me to help them and to make a difference in their lives. There are serious challenges facing us as individuals and the world as a Palestinian and now Canadian, who was born and raised in Jabalia refugee camp, that is still carrying the suffering, my life was and continues to be a war. I faced many challenges. But as life increased my aches, my pain, my suffering, at the same time, life amplified my maturity, my determination, my awareness, my strength, and did not allow all of the difficulties to kill my dreams. I found myself in a life as a challenging, as a raging and wild ocean. But I realized that this suffering and my suffering and the world's suffering, it's man-made. And this is where hope can begin because it's man-made. What can we do and what can you do to unmade it? I believe there is no greater challenge than the lack of personal responsibility. Taking personal Responsibility transcends the circumstances and situation in which we find ourselves. We need to learn and the practice to challenge ourselves and to look 
for a just human world. One of the most important ingredients for moving forward is the knowledge of what exactly you want and making a plan on how to achieve it, whatever the challenges and others to say. I learned always to listen to my inner voice and follow what it says. Don't say no. After you try, then you can decide if you want to say no or not. I learned as a physician, as a obstetrician and gynecologist, what life and death mean when a person dies. I learned and continue to advocate and to value all lives immensely and to realize that others have needs and sufferings that I wanted to alleviate through my work as a physician to defend the humanity and to understand that the human beings and the freedom are the most holy things in the universe. Our Palestinian poet Mahmoud Darwish said, he who looks at the sea doesn't know the sea. He who sits on the shore doesn't know the sea. Only he who immerses himself takes risk and forgets the sea in the sea. No one knows the suffering until they have suffered. No one knows freedom until they have lost it. No one knows the loss until it happens. We must defend the humanity and to understand that we all share this humanity and we share this universe. I saw the hope in the newborn baby I delivered, and I saw the life leave my loved daughters in front of my eyes, the killing of my daughters, Bisan, Mayar, Aya, and my niece Noor. The world in which we live is endemic with violence, with injustice, with fear and hatred. But these socio-endemic diseases, they cross barriers and borders. No one is far from risk. We all are impacted, either directly or indirectly, and we all are potential victims in this world by these diseases. To endure this world, we need the truth and justice. And you, you are here to learn and be enlightened and see the truth and act to bring justice. War is a genocide, it's torture, it's a propaganda, it's dishonesty and the slavery of a humanity. War and injustice are not just to be documented, but to be prevented as we prevent diseases. Eisenhower, one said, a nation that continues year after year to spend more money on military defense than on programs of social uplift is approaching spiritual death. I can add that we live in a world that we reached spiritual and the human death and bankruptcy. For any human being, justice and the freedom are essential, crucial to our dignity and our capacity to, be, to feel free and to feel human. I still believe you can reciprocate lawfulness, human moral and ethical principles. I still believe that no matter what role you have in this world, small or big, young or old, our role is to humanize, not to politicize, and our loyalty must never be tested or biased or be used or misused. I wrote my book, I Shall Not Hate, and as the great Lebanese poet, Jubran, Khalil Jubran, once said, tenderness 
and kindness are not signs of weakness and despair, but they are manifestations of strength and resolutions. People all of the time, they say to me that they lost, lost hope, but as a medical doctor, I will never lose hope as long as the patient is still alive. We are in difficult time, but still the patient is alive. And we, have, we are here to say there is hope and nothing is impossible in life. Nothing is impossible in life. The only impossible thing in life I believe in is to return my daughters back to life. From Jabalia camp, from the poverty, from the, the oppression, the suffering, everything I planned, I succeeded to achieve it. To carry university, to London, to Italy, to Belgium, to Harvard. And that as a friend of mine said, right now, you are the hope and you are the new blood and you are the new leaders with the new vision and the truth. With hope, there are unlimited possibilities and opportunities. I fully believe that we have the knowledge, the talent, the strength, but we need the goodwill to make the world a better one by sharing our humanity and to realize that there are no passengers on this spaceship Earth. We all are a crew. What kind of people you need to ask yourself? What kind of people must you be? You must be people of value, of vision and leadership. Values provide the basis for health and peace and define who we are. Values include respect for human dignity and social justice. And you must promote these values. We must show that life is a precious and that no one is ignored or considered unworthy of a secure and a prosperous life. We need to be, and you need to be leaders who translate these values and visions into actions. Don't underestimate yourself. Don't reject yourself. Don't say no till you try. After you try, you make mistakes. Remember not to blame but to take responsibility and move forward. The first step to failure is to lose confidence, and the opposite of success is not failure, but it's the trigger, it's the incentive, and the path to success. Don't be afraid of failure. Be afraid of regret. After the killing of my daughters, I thought, what can I do? because I am determined to keep them alive, because they are living with me. They are only far from me, and the tragedy can't be the end of our lives. We can't allow it to control and defeat us. I succeeded in my life, but I will never, ever forget from where did I come. The only, as I said, the possible thing is to return my daughters back. And today, I am keeping them in your minds, in your hearts, in your souls. I succeeded to create life from death and to spread hope from pain and suffering. And the strongest members in any society are women. The women are the author of the survival story of our world. They are the ones behind our existence and success. Education which helps to smash and destroy the mental and physical barriers which are man-made. Education is about creating a world of justice and hope and eradicate injustice. That's why I established Daughters for Life Foundation for education of girls and young women from the Middle East and North Africa. If politics divides, Daughters for Life brings people together, and I hope, and that's why I am here also, I would appeal to you, President Lashimi, to take 
part of it and to see some of Daughters for Life scholars to join your institution. In a time, I would love to see them here to be among you, to be the messengers of humanity. In a time, a world of despair and loss of hope, women have maintained the hope. That's why I am optimistic, because women are the balance of our world. Women are the ones who give life. Women who nurture life instead of say, saying behind a successful man there is a successful woman, we need to say parallel and side by side to a successful man, there is a successful woman. There is no peace without women, and there is no peace and respect of human rights. One can do everything, but each of us can do something. Let us all come together to make the world we want for us and our future generations safe, secure, healthy, and most importantly, free one. Today, you are graduates, and you are the next generation of leaders, and it's you who will have to bring fresh ideas and solutions to the world challenges. Now, it's your turn, and you must hand over the torch and the button to you. Congratulations again. I came here because I believe in you. Go in confidence, with faith, with hope, without fear. The future is yours, and the world is waiting for you to make a difference with the strong, positive human action. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you for your inspiring words, Dr. Abulaish. As our graduates prepare to come forward, I will take this opportunity to request that you hold your applause until all graduates have crossed the stage. We do, however, welcome spontaneous outbursts of joy, enthusiasm, and even relief from family and friends. That's all part of the celebration. And so that all graduates are celebrated equally, we ask that everyone please remain seated for the duration of the ceremony. Just gonna say that again. So all graduates are celebrated equally, we ask that everyone please remain for the duration of the ceremony. I now ask to come forward and thank in advance the University Registrar, Robin Parr. Will the graduates please rise if you're able. President Lashmi, Provost Yanachito Provenzano, honored guests, faculty member, staff, family and friends of the graduates, I have the honor and pleasure to present graduates from Toronto Metropolitan University's Faculty of Community Services and Faculty of Engineering and Architectural Science degree programs as well as those from the G. Raymond Chang School of Continuing Education Certificate Programs. Our graduates include all of those that are joining us today and all of those unable to attend who are graduating in absentia. I certify that each has met the academic requirements for the awards they are about to receive and that each has been duly approved by the University Senate. Congratulations to each of you. You can be seated.
Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present candidates for the undergraduate degrees in the Faculty of Community Services. Bachelor of Arts in Child and Youth Care. Sadika Arthur Barwani. Diana Burlington, with distinction. Avram Campos. Victoria Cato. Chanel Clark. Amani Daria. Marina Desa. Tristan Dyer with distinction. Mahalet Getenet. Amal Hashi. Sabika Jaffer with distinction. Fatima Khan. Harmin Lal. Zoe Lopez. Rita Maraga with distinction. Raina Naim with distinction. Liam O'Leary Orange. Jordan Pardo. Shania Poonafat. Carla Rojas. Atom Shad with distinction. Sumeya Shah Jahan. Emily Ann Terlitzetze. Abirami Turairaja. Nicholas Wright with distinction. Bachelor of Arts in Disability Studies. Mabel Contreras. Marilyn Moffat with distinction. Sophia Oenya with distinction. Mary Tremblay. Dawn Williams. Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Studies. Malak Abulata. Angel Cruz. Cassandra Fazio Raposo. Rohana Iqbal with distinction. Naomi Kija. Quinn Van Lee. Yabin Lee. Feng Lin with distinction. Chan Yu Zhang with distinction. Megan Lobo. Robin Nelson with distinction.
Sandra Ofosu with distinction. Shazia Sami with distinction. Melissa Scalioni. Christy Lynn Shaw with distinction. Jennifer Sue. Claudia Vial. Bachelor of Health Sciences in Midwifery. Joanne Payne with distinction. Shanuka Tivianath. Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Nursing, post diploma degree completion. Ibiwumi Adedokun. Matila Ahmed. Priyanka Balachandran. Manjot Chima. Rebecca Churchill. Patricia Chiotsky. Carrie Lee Constant. Jessica Farron. Sandra Kelman. Zilin Lee with distinction. Miranda McCoy. Charmaine Nilo. Rochelle Payne with distinction. Amante Rabago. Zora Rahmat with distinction. Brianna Rakita. Danielle Stoikov. Raquel Torres. Shuman Bhattacharya with distinction. Shihua Wang with distinction. Rochelle Wilson. Vinette Wright. Ashley Young. Bachelor of Applied Science in Nutrition and Food. Hala Bassam al Zair, who is also receiving a certificate in food security. Safura Husseini, who is also receiving a certificate in food security. Rama John Buckley. Veronica Lazebnik. Lindsay Ma with distinction. Yusuf Mohammed.
Fuang Nguyen, who is also receiving a certificate in food security. Maya Silva, with distinction. Faranika Sukumaran. Tierney Wallace Herod. Sabrina Young, with distinction. Kimia Zolfagari. Bachelor of Applied Science in Occupational and Public Health, Occupational Health and Safety. Farah Diba. <laughs> Alan Pan. Bachelor of Applied Science in Occupational and Public Health, Occupational Health and Safety Cooperative Program. Leroy D'Souza, with distinction. Bachelor of Applied Science in Occupational and Public Health, Public Health and Safety. Shanice Martin. Bachelor of Applied Science in Occupational and Public Health, Public Health and Safety Cooperative Program. Yuming Young. Bachelor of Applied Science in Occupational Health and Safety. Sigmus Ade Akani. Justin Da Silva. Tarek Hafiz. Cliff Robinson. Bachelor of Applied Science in Public Health. Jennifer Loy. Chorel Sinclair. <laughs> Bachelor of Social Work in Social Work. Nicole Brace, who is also receiving a certificate in Indigenous Knowledges and Experiences. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present candidates for the undergraduate degrees in the Faculty of Community Services. Renee DeWitt. Alicia Douglas, with distinction. Indira Ehikwe. Tina Gabrezgi with distinction. Antonio Gordino with distinction. Lorraine Hewitt with distinction. Siobhan Hussein. Tyra Cantor. Emma Kemp. Margot Matheson with distinction. Allison McGibbon with distinction. Shania Morales with distinction. 
Elvia Penate with distinction. Christina Ping. Michael Schneider with distinction. Jessica Tabak. Leslie Ann Valley with distinction. Alexander Vicioso with distinction. Delroy Willis. Lily Zapeda with distinction. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present candidates for the undergraduate degrees in the Faculty of Community Service. Bachelor of Science in Nursing in Toronto Metropolitan Centennial George Brown Collaborative Nursing. Johannes Abebe. Erica Bianca Agpalo. Grace Ann Almeida. Calistus Anasudu Memeze Chuku with distinction. Diane Andreas with distinction. Angeline Marie Augis. Amy Carita Quispe. Arhama Gori. Allison Hammond with distinction. Sara Jahanifar with distinction. Harpreet Jangra with distinction. Anjana Krishnan. Asia Lopez with distinction. Kelsey Minot King. Samira Mohammed with distinction. Sukaina Muhammad Ali with distinction. Jacqueline Nguyen. Sonia Randawa. Sayeda Dure Shahwar with distinction. Dominic Stewart. Lucy Vanicola with distinction. Erica Walters. <laughs> Bachelor of Urban and Regional Planning in Urban and Regional Planning. Kylie Busio. Will Cohen. Emanuela Amedo. Julia Spaniolo. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present candidates for the graduate degrees in the Faculty of Community Services. Professional Master's Diploma in Dietetics. 
Daniela Alcamo. Fiona Amos. Nicole Ceballos. Alexandra Daniel. Samantha Guerin. Matthew Leahy. Alejandra Mullet. Johanna Ogba Michael. Jillian Platner. Jillian Skippin. Rachel Sonola. Master of Arts in Child and Youth Care. Wayan Bruce Chan. Amy Del Monte. Jatara Hutchinson Bob. Nerissa Ennis Boston. Francis Kayser. Cheyenne Lance. Cassandra Mathers. Jennifer Onwumeodo. Sarah Pepin. Catherine Pipe. Lauren Pitchforth. Ashley Wall. Simone Wicks. Master of Arts in Early Childhood Studies. Mabin Abbas. Amika Arbine. Gayatri Aruran. Lauren Bird. Jaylin Grant. Stephanie Jones. Jadeen Lillis. Eslyn McKay. Rowena Mejia. Afua Ochere. Jennifer Pedro. Jenny Kianzon. Anissa Ramdeo. Sarosh Sawani. Savitri Sinanin. Rory Vale. Chu Fang Yu. Master of Nursing in Nursing. Rachel Hamilton. Woo! 
Jason Hernandez. Patricia Lara. Sarah Lawsett. Erica Palubeski. Master of Nursing in Nursing Certificate in Primary Healthcare Nurse Practitioner. Rebecca Aguiar. Kiana Alipur. Alexandra Amanze. Lauren Aruda. Jessica Bandu. Katrina Barbas. Carly Farugi. Jacqueline Huskamp. Fahreen Ismail. Rina Jung. <laughs> Valentine Mayomi. <laughs> Karen Ousu. <laughs> Melanie Fotopoulos. <laughs> Amy Shakespeare. Heather Valier. Brooke Vickery. Certificate in Primary Healthcare Nurse Practitioner. Maria Becerra Gomez. Cheryl Berlatano. Kaylee Fox. Jagjeet Gill. Ogochuku Madueke. Monica Oyahovsky. Payman Sharifi Tehran. Nancy Smith. Josephine Zorn. Master of Health Science in Nutrition Communication. Stefania Dramisino. Master of Social Work in Social Work. <laughs> Alana Ali. <laughs> Ria Aurora. <laughs> Nathan Cheng. Sarah Chikoski. Christy Crespo. Rachel Flores. Althea Gorespe.
سعد خالد سلمى لاشمي who is being congratulated on stage by her father محمد لاشمي President and Vice Chancellor of TMU Tara Lethed Renee Lepage Jason Muck Linda Mensa Natalie Morrison Sydney Shaw Kelly Tarr Jenna Wetterauer Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present candidates for the undergraduate degrees in the Faculty of Engineering and Architectural Science. Bachelor of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering. Alessandro Chinilo. Samuel Osorio Marino with distinction. Ahmed Ziyad Zain al Din, Bachelor of Architectural Science, Honors in Architectural Science. Eileen Allen Saud, Ariana Korskaden. Santino D'Angelo Rosas, Zoe DeFrang, Chen Hao Fang, Nicole Gabriele with distinction, Connor Scofield. Esho Turkan with distinction. Bachelor of Architectural Science Honors in Architectural Science Cooperative Program. Oscar Ayala. Bronwyn Bell with distinction. Kak Long Chung, Laura Diaz, Hajra Hamid with distinction, Cynthia Hua. Alyssa Marie Verdun, Bachelor of Engineering in Biomedical Engineering, Molham Alsati, Bachelor of Engineering in Chemical Engineering Cooperative Program, Rhonda Arkan. Aksaran Mohanadis, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering, Bero Beshei, Dawood Urshad, Henry Lee.
Alexander McPherson. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Engineering. Akamudame Abbasi Akpan. Syed Husseini. Eduardo Ibarra. Dilraj Manhas. Joshua Mello with distinction. Daval Patel. Muhammad Saleh with distinction. Akash Sivapalan with distinction. Vincent To. Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical Engineering. Omar Al Sarraf. Shoeb Islam. Nasir Khan. Gregory Lagos. Samela Noor. Akif Kidwai. Faria Rahman. Edel Saunders. Brian Zhen. Bachelor of Engineering in Industrial Engineering. Sydney Dumlau. Muhammad Rahman. Neil Theophilus. Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering. Abdullah Al Abdul Wahid. Daniel Andrichuk. Saleh Arif. Nesti Bagang. Jade Cruz. Lohitaksh Dugal. Perry Fung. Ryan Madden. Sorush Pishavar. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present candidates for the graduate degrees in the Faculty of Engineering and Architectural Science. Master of Applied Science in Aerospace Engineering. Stefan Koyovich. Maya Rahman Norona. <laughs> Master of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering. David College. Iimide <laughs> Shola Shitu. Arya Subash. Master of Architecture in Architecture.
Isabel Arboleda. Tejinder Babar. Patricia Diaz Basulto. Jerry Kim. Monica Mitich. Parth Prajapati. Yara Ragab. Nicholas Savage. Ruotao Wang. Master of Applied Science in Biomedical Engineering. Taha Abbasi Hashemi. Alejo Costanzo. Connor Christent. Owen Crystal. Matthew Dennerine. Megan Muldoon. Master of Engineering in Biomedical Engineering. Sydney Anelli. Jasmine Sadat Musavi Bojnordi. Rebecca Sampat. Aditya Shankar. Master of Applied Science in Building Science. Fatma Osman. Yingxin Zhu. Master of Building Science in Building Science. Fatima Khan. Provis Swan. Zarifa Zare Moyedi. Master of Applied Science in Chemical Engineering. Fadi Leyus Gedeon. Master of Engineering in Chemical Engineering. Muhammad Abdullahi. Amjad Ali. Wanida Basas. Maimuna Meraj. Muhammad Ajmal Sadiq Basha. Master of Applied Science in Civil Engineering. Joshua Sadiri Gudmalin. Richard Malantic. Master of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Anthony Aljalk. Masa Kodadadi. Sayyid Nahyan. Abdullahi Yusuf. Master of Applied Science in Computer Networks. Alexander Maximoski. Master of Engineering in Computer Networks. 
Susar Acharya, Nimra Afak, Wasim Ahmed, Sanam Amirzani, Collins Anobin, Muhammad Ayyub, Shaherzad Azarian Poor Esfahani, Kanan Bali, Ali Riza Baitari, Suman Biswas, Zafar Danish, <laughs> Maryam Farugi Namatullahi, Muhammad Mukarram Hussein, Muhammad Aftab Hussein, Muhammad Imran. Day Day Your Shaysi, Snejit Kaur, Mashad Korashahi, Ria Kothari, Yu Chan Lee. Amir Hassan Masumi, Hamid Naji, Anza Nawab, Michael Obadi Meji, Shafinaz Qadr. Alejandro Ramirez, Muhammad Shamimur Rashid, Kaval Kumar Shah, Jagmeet Singh, Varun Singh. Parsa Sokandani, Shu Sun, Fahad Zubairi, Master of Applied Science in Electrical and Computer Engineering. Vedant Bomanahali, Miao Sen Zhou, Master of Engineering in Electrical and Computer Engineering, Bipin Asi, Taimur Ahmed. Sadesh Bist, Wayas Koroni Halim, Muhammad Uyum Al Islam, Sharon Kugan, Adit Parik. Malvikumar Patel, Het Ratot, <coughs> Magdalene Singaraja, Master of Applied Science in Mechanical and Industrial Engineering, 
Karen Penaranda Valdivia. Master of Engineering in Mechanical and Industrial Engineering. Anurban Mandal. Chinonso Okereke. Stephen Watson. Master of Project Management in Project manage Management in the Built Environment. Abhinav Takur. Doctor of Philosophy in Aerospace Engineering. Sepide Fagihi. Doctor of Philosophy in Chemical Engineering. Deba Prasad Dutta. Masume Esani. Reza Islami. Reza Shatkami. Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering. Abir Hamze. Um Sharmin Haider. Ohade Onyadibe. Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical and Computer Engineering. Argaban Assad.
me hak basharat. Jale sadat me davi mogaddam. Sajjad Rostami Sani. Randy Tan. Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical and Industrial Engineering. Somia Dash. Muhammad Imam Jome Kashan. Raiden Hoekstra. Samuel Islam. Garima Malik. Roshan Mudassar. Bejat Sultanifar. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present candidates for the certificates in the G. Raymond Chang School of Continuing Education. Certificate in Applied Digital Geography and GIS. John Acosta. Momin Uneson Alam Monmon. Madeline Stapleton. Certificate in Accounting, Finance. Saleh Ahmed Bapi. Certificate in Advanced Accounting. Mijanur Rahman. Certificate in Business Decision Analysis. Tuba Khan. Certificate in Business Management. Jasmeet Kaur. Samida Vinit Mantrabadi.
Fiona Amrita Mascarenas. Certificate in Health Services Management. Rebecca Robinson. Certificate in Health Studies. Beatrice Tende Guata. Certificate in Human Resources Management. Mufti Abu Bakr Nazim Ahmed. Rama Al Qudsi. Soma Nurzai. Tanzim Saleha. Saad Syed Mohammed. Maryam Yaakov. Certificate in Strategic Marketing. Sukanya Ghosh. Certificate in Business Communication. Olivia Escribano. Josie Scalabrini. Certificate in Design Management. Jennifer Downs. Noreen Niavarani. Certificate in Facility and Property Management. Harrison Sloan. Certificate in Film Studies. Daria Amir Shahi. Gabriel Walta Busulwa. Gursawak Chohan. Kayla Lakani. Taylor Martins. Michelle Roy. Sanam Syed. Helena Tahtabas. Certificate in Fundamentals of Interior Design. Laura Grefland. Maria Luisa Maya. Angelina Smith. Certificate in Graphic Communications. Kaylee Havelock. Certificate in Photography Studies. Andy Lee. Certificate in Publishing. Angela Gouge. Noor Salam.
certificate in Canadian social work practice. Michael Abdeta. Muawiya Adamesa. Mohammed Razu Ahmed. Sailesh Raj Arlagada Lakshamaya. Alexandra Delgado. Paulson Jacob. Tessina Joseph. Atefe Nikue. Sneha Ravanen. Amal Shalufi. Sri Lakshmi Sunil Kumar. Oluwakemi Talabi. Chinju Thomas. Certificate in Indigenous Knowledges and Experiences. Sandy Carpenter. Luisa Gonzalez. Certificate in Local Economic Development. Stephen Lokash. Dave Lowe's. Manav Sidhu. Tracy Tawaya. Certificate in Occupational Health and Safety Leadership. Tiffany Lesko. Certificate in Data Analytics, Big Data and Predictive Analytics. Divya Aurora. Omotayo Bankole. Pai Ding. Saheli Hazra Chakraborty. Amarpreet Kaur. Anhad Quatra. Mario Merguia Cortez. Glory Agor. Carlos Arturo Ramirez. Mohammed Zeka Shahir Yar. Arani Shribavin. Samarawira Wijesuria. Rahimat Yusuf. Certificate in Project Management. 
Jamal Blackwood. Jessica Gashka Orozco. Argon Kazem Zadeh. Certificate in Computer Security and Digital Forensics. Gabriel Balon. Manpriya Bandal. Connor Gordon. Ian Kung Fat. Certificate in Full Stack Developer. Kurram Shahid. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of today's graduates. Hello TMU grads, I'm Jen McMillan, Vice Provost Students, and I'm so happy to share this special moment with you. Every one of you set a major goal for yourself, and today, after years of hard work and sacrifice, we honour all that you've accomplished. Your degree is a celebration of the courage it took to get you here, of the hard work and dedication you've demonstrated inside and outside of the classroom, of the breakthroughs that have helped mould you into the person you've become and of the community you found along the way. Your degree represents more than just the assignments you've completed and the exams that you've written. The student groups, the passion projects, the events and the games, they all represent the many ways you help build this community that will live on well past graduation. Whether your families, friends and supporters are near or far today, I know they are celebrating this achievement with you. You've completed something significant and great opportunities await you. As you enter this next phase of your lives, I challenge you to keep growing and using your unique voices to change the world. Never be afraid to be courageous, to be loud, and to be bold. Finally, thank you for choosing us. We're so proud that you'll forever be a part of the TMU community. Today is about celebrating how far you've come. And we'd like to take this opportunity to talk about how far you're gonna go. You have become a part of something bigger. Graduating from TMU is a major milestone. I still remember exactly how I felt when I was in your seat on this very day. I definitely had a mixture of emotions. I was just really very proud. At Convocation, I, I felt very prepared for my career, but like very excited, but also a little sad. Quite optimistic, nostalgic. I felt excited and I felt prepared. Walking across that stage at Convocation meant that I fulfilled personal goals, but I also fulfilled the goals of a family. And that was really important. As much as it was the end of the chapter, it was actually the start of something great. And I had so many questions, like how am I gonna make my big dreams come true? Do I have it all figured out? How am I gonna come back? So it was party time but also, hey, you got some work to do down the road, start thinking about it. As a member of the TMU alumni community, we are here to show you that you have a safety net. 
As TMU alumni, you are part of a supportive network of people who are committed to lifting each other up and helping each other grow. Today, tomorrow, and always. So just take a deep breath. Enjoy this moment. And remember, we're here to support you. And we can't wait to see what you go on to accomplish. Well, they should buy the picture frame. Buy the picture frame. The university's gold medal is awarded to one graduate student in each faculty. Nominees must have demonstrated outstanding involvement within the university, their profession, and or their community, and must have also demonstrated academic proficiency. I am pleased to announce that Child and Youth Care graduate Nerissa Innes Boston is the recipient of the gold medal for the Faculty of Community Services. Nerissa has received several awards at TMU, including the Ontario Graduate Fellowship and the Faculty of Community Services Black Graduate Award. Nerissa served on numerous committees at the university, leading to curriculum development and changes that further equity initiatives for students. She is an ongoing mentor to undergraduate, graduate, and placement students, and her commitment outside of the school has led to changes for black students through a systematic approach to address anti-black racism. She also coaches the first ever women's tackle football team, the Peel Panthers. I now invite Nerissa and President Lashmi forward for the presentation of the award. It is now my pleasure to invite Tom Duver, Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Architectural Sciences, to present the next two medals. I'm thrilled to announce that the Toronto Metropolitan University Gold Medal recipient for the Faculty of Engineering and Architectural Science is Fadi Leos Gideon. Fadi was one of the first few undergraduates who enrolled in the accelerated Master of Science program in the Department of Chemical Engineering. He utilized his undergraduate learning experience to mentor the current undergraduate students and to contribute to the advancement of curriculum. He participated in the Department Council, the Graduate Studies Council, and was the student representative in departmental meetings. Additionally, he exercised utmost diligence to contribute his SRC outcomes in the professional community. I would like to invite Fadi and President Lashmi forward to the presentation of the award. The Governor General's Gold Medal is awarded to two graduate students at the university with the highest cumulative grade point averages. Reza Islami, graduating with his PhD in chemical engineering, is one of those recipients. Over the course of his academic journey, Reza has achieved incredible academic results. Today, he crosses the stage with a seat GPA of 4.33. Congratulations, Reza. I'd like to ask Reza and President Lashemi to please come forward for the presentation of the award.
Please welcome Provost and Vice President Academic Roberta Iannacito Provenciano. Thank you so much, Dean Garbagi. Hello, everyone. Today marks an incredibly exciting moment in your life. Congratulations. As we bring today's convocation ceremony to a close, I would like us to reflect on the sacrifices and successes that have led to this moment. Take a minute to consider the challenges that you have overcome. Endless study sessions and all-nighters dedicated to finishing that project or getting through some tough exams. Extracurricular activities to balance with a demanding academic schedule. And all of this on top of a global pandemic that pushed and challenged you in unimaginable ways. And consider the things you gained along the way. Cherished memories at varsity games and campus events to reminisce about with the lifelong friends you've made. And an appetite for learning to fuel your growth in the years ahead. During your time at TMU, you pushed the boundaries of innovation. You flexed your entrepreneurial muscles and you championed diversity and inclusion. Without hesitation or apology, you challenged the status quo and you made your mark on our community. I am one of the many people who are so proud of you today. To your family members and friends, I think we need to have a special round of applause. A real special thank you to all of you. Your support has been incredibly important to each one of our graduates, and you have contributed to their success in so many different ways. Finally, I would like to reinforce one very important thing. By completing your journey here, you will always be part of our TMU family, an ever-growing group of passionate people doing remarkable work in every corner of the world. As you embark on this next phase, remember that there is no single path to success. You will define it on your own terms. And when you do, I hope that you will remember to share your stories with us. I would like to wish all of you and your families a beautiful evening of celebration and a bright future filled with happiness and lifelong learning. Thank you. I would like to thank all the staff, volunteers, and faculty here today who helped make this ceremony a wonderful experience for all. We will close our ceremony today with the national anthem. Following the anthem, I ask all of you, all who are standing to remain doing so until all of our graduates have left the arena. Graduates, please follow our arena marshals who will usher you to the fourth floor to join your family and friends. I now welcome Catherine Rohn from the Office of the Dean and the Faculty of Arts to sing O Canada. Thank you for celebrating with us today.